CSS Tutorial for Beginners. Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to introduce you to CSS. CSS basically means cascading style sheet. It makes the web pages appear the way that you see them. Without using CSS, our web pages will not have the, the design appearance that we want. Looking at the sample web page, on my keyboard, let me press on F12 to bring out the web developer toolbar. When you want to learn about CSS, it's smart to use the F12 on your keyboard to bring out the developer toolbar. Let's press on this arrow key and hover around our screen here. Now we see the element itself, it's highlighted for us. And let's press on this element. It's saying that's H1 with a class entry title. And on the right hand side here, we can see where the style for that element is coming from. It's coming from a file called style.css. Now we're looking at a sample WordPress site. So at this moment, let me press on sources, go to this folder, in there I have my theme, and in there I have a file called CSS here, style.css. And all these CSS rules is applied to this document. So therefore, if I delete everything, you will see the styles are gone now because I've just removed the styles. So if I then revert back, you can see all the styling has changed. Once again, let me demonstrate that you can see the styles are gone. So now we understand the basics of what style sheets are all about, some cascading style sheets. Let's dive in and try to learn a little bit more about CSS. I've created a sample document. It's basically a basic HTML document, right? When you're learning about CSS, it's actually smart to also consider learning about HTML because they work together. So on this document, let me just say, hello world block one. And let me say, hello world block two as an example for you. Let me save this document and let me view it. There are no styles attached to this document. So let's go and style this document now. Now what we can do is within the head element of a web document, we can create a style. The type of style in this example, as you can see, it's text forward slash CSS. Basically, that's a style for CSS document, CSS elements. Now, once we create these tags, style tags, now we can see that these elements are within HTML P element. So that means I can say P open curly bracket and then let me close the curly bracket and say font size let's make it 30 pixels and we close the rule by semicolon let me save this document now that's saved basically we've just styled the p element to have a font size of 30 pixels. Let me view. 
And as you can see, once I refresh this sample page, the size of that P element has increased to 30 pixels. Now, while here, let me once again press on F12 on my keyboard, press on elements, grab the arrow key icon, let me hover around this, and on the right hand side, we can see the rule being applied to this. If I change the font size to be 60 pixels now, save this document, refresh, and you can now see the style of it. It's good to use the web developer toolbar even when you're beginning to learn about CSS because it just basically makes your learning much easier. So now let's go and see what else we can do. When we are styling elements we can have ID elements and let's say sample one we can also have class elements now why do we have class and id there are good uses for both of the id elements always have higher priority as far as the browser rendering the styles of a web document whereby class elements will have lesser priority than the ID when the browser renders. Let me demonstrate what that means for you as well. Let's say that's a class with a name sample2. Now let's go and style the ID as well as the class. To style the ID we need the hashtag and then give the name of our ID element here. So as long as that matches, now we can style that ID element. Open curly brace and then close curly brace. So now we can say, okay, you know what? Let me modify the color of it. Let's say color, you can use hex color codes let's say let's grab the red one now let's save this document now what this CSS will do is look for an element with an ID name sample one and then define the color of it so if I now refresh this page, you will see that has changed. Now let's also style the class as well. When styling the class, we need to put a full stop first, as in a dot, and then sample two. And let's say that is color blue because we can use that format as well, if we want. Let's save this document. Now we should know that the second block will have color blue. We can have many, many, many different CSS rules applied to individual elements, such as the width, height and all what we're seeing here that's why using programs like dreamweaver not only helps you to learn about css quicker it also speeds up the process of web development as well so let's say the width of that id element should be colon should be let's say 400 pixels and let's also give height to that and let's also make that 400 pixels so it's nice square here let's save changes let's also grab okay let's also give width of 200 pixels for that class element 
and also the height let's say 200 pixels for that as well let's save this document let's refresh and as you can see the first element became 400 pixels width and height and the second element has 200 pixels height and width let's go and modify the first one to be 150 and 150 for the height as well let's refresh the page now you can see the styling is changing now right now while here let's also consider this scenario let's make that with 450 let's make that 500 as a sample let's refresh so it's more, much more cleaner for us to see now let's also grab the, okay let's create a div and give that an id my id as you can name the ID or class anything that you want let's say this is my div sample and let's close that div now what I want to show you is an element can have an ID as well as a class rules applied all together I'm trying to explain the cascading style sheet and the rules that is followed by the browsers so this div has a, an id my id let's call it let's create a class and say you know what my class element right? now let's save this document without using any css let's take a look at that div here so that's the div here now right now let's then do this my ID that's the ID of it and let's also style the class element together now let's give that let's first of all give it a background color and let's make that green let's make the color of the font white now let's do this here let's give it a width of let's say 600 pixels and for the class element itself let's also give width let's make that 300 pixels let's save this document now i want you to pause and really consider what we've just done here and why i'm showing you this we've basically created a div with an id called my id and a class called my class and we've styled the ID and gave width 600 pixels furthermore we've styled the class and gave 300 pixels let's go and view this document let's refresh to see what happens now that div has width 600 pixels and the class here as you can see the width 300 has a strike through it that's because that's what cascading style sheets are all about that means the rules are always cascaded and the ID elements always have higher priority over class elements that's why this rule is applied over this one but if i now remove this element the width 
save the document now this rule will be applied because there are nothing else in the ID element as in no width so now that will be shorter as you can see so to learn CSS just realize that it is smart to understand the difference between IDs and classes and why you would sometimes want to use either one or both of them now finally I'd like to show you another CSS insight which is you can have inline elements so you can style the element right in on the tag itself and you do that by saying style equals double quote and then let's say color let's grab this color here and let's say this is another div so that's the text and let's close that div now that's called an inline styling let's save this document now this div will have color in that example I think it was blue let's refresh the page that's the color of it we can semicolon it and apply another rule now with let's say 300 pixels let's save and that's 300 pixels now to see it let's give it a background color and let's make that red let's save changes and refresh and you will see the background color became red and the color of the font became this and the width is this so that is an inline styling so basically I've just given you a rather a crash course on CSS but nonetheless CSS is very powerful and it is absolutely must to at least understand the basics of it for you to be able to create stunning looking websites that has the visual appearance just the way that you want if you enjoyed this video session please do give it a like and share it and if you've got any questions or comments simply use the commenting system on youtube and i'll talk with you in the next video session